Let's look at the new GL functionality in SAP Financial Accounting. SAP introduced new GL with a ERP version 5 to overcome some of the disadvantages of using the classic GL. Now you don't call it old GL, you call it classic GL format. Now in your SAP IMG configuration menu path, you would see there's an option called Financial Accounting and Financial Accounting New. That Financial Accounting New, which we've been doing all of our configuration, is a new GL. Previously, before ERP version 5, all the settings was done in the Financial Accounting. That was the classic GL version. So what are the advantages of using new GL? For one, parallel accounting. So new GL provides non-leading ledgers for parallel accounting like IFRS and GAAP. Now these are some of the international accounting standards provided and your normal G ledger is called your leading ledger and if you don't have parallel ledgers that is for specific accounting purposes based on some international requirements or your own country requirements then you can have a parallel accounting option. So while you're posting the main ledger, which I do all your reports, you can have another ledger also where the system posts. So you can have two ledgers at the same time. That's the advantage of parallel accounting. Now this is all very technical, but just to know some of the advantages of new GL, one option is called parallel accounting. Now segment reporting, similarly also for profit center reporting. So this again, some countries you might require to report based on segments. We saw in one of our earlier presentation what are segments, what are profit centers, what are business areas. So if you want to do segment-wise re reporting also, you can do that. Uh, that's another advantage of new GL. Similarly, profit center-wise reporting also you can do. So you can design a complete financial statement, that is both your balance sheet and your penal statement for segments as well as profit centers with the use of new GL. Real-time integration between the FI and CEO modules. Now, real-time integration between FI and CO module happens. Now, you know CO module, all the transactions from the FI module, if you have made CO module also activated, some of the transactions in the FI module which relates to p statements or anything which relates with the cost element, it flows onto the CO module. So, all the transactions happening in FI flows onto CO. But then there are some transactions in CO module which happens only within CO like allocation and cost center assignments where do some postings between transfer of costs between two cost centers and so on. These will not make an entry in the FI module. But with the advantage of new GL, you can set up an indicator or you can do some configuration where some, the transactions happening within the CO module also post to the FI module via a document type or specific document type. So this helps you to reconcile between both FI and the CO modules. So you can get the exact values in your FI module matching to your CO module. That's another advantage of new GL. Then document splitting. So this is how the document splitting, based on document splitting only, you're getting all the information, basically the balance sheet information flowing on to profit centers and segments. You look at document splitting later in our next presentation where we discuss in detail of what are the different types of document splitting and how the system actually splits those line items and posts to these profit centers and segments. So because of the main advantage of document splitting, you are able to make profit center wise and segment wise reporting. And also fast period close. Now there's a multi-dimensional aspect to the general ledger with new GL. Everything is stored in a single table kind of a dimension. Everything is stored in one environment. The period, you can quickly close out all the information at your period end because you don't have to go and look at multiple tables to reconcile. So that's another advantage, faster period close. So these are some of the advantages of having new GL. Now let's look at how new GL posts to the SAP tables. Now previously with classic GL, you had the two tables BKPF and BSEG or BSEG. BKPF is a FI document header table. So this contains the document date, posting date, reference, document type, period, fiscal year and so on. And then you have the BSEG or BSEG table which contains the document line item. That is the posting key, 
जी लखा